In this quick video, I'll show you how to make this two solid Toby part from this drawing pretty quickly with only a couple of features. So to start, we're going to define a sketch which will let us do this sweep over here. So let's go ahead and start a sketch on the front plane. And I'm going to draw a diagonal line over here. This is going to be going up 80 millimeters from that dimension over there. And it's going to be at an angle of 70 millimeters over here. Just like that. So this is what we're going to use to sweep along our profile. Now for the profile, let's go ahead and go to the top plane. And here's how we're going to define that profile. I'm going to go ahead and I'll start with um, a line just somewhere out in free space. It doesn't really matter. And we'll turn this into a slot. This is going to be our outside, um, our outside profile there. I'll make it not construction. And I'll rein in this dimension that flew all the way over there. And since I was doing this previously, it's already set to 200. So I can go ahead and accept this. Now, for the length of this, it's going to be 400 over here for that dimension right there across for that profile. So let's go ahead and dimension from this arc to that arc at a distance of 400 millimeters. Perfect. So we have one of our arcs now. Now let's go ahead and add another line for another one of the arcs. So for this one over here, this one's going to be 60 millimeters across. So I'm going to choose the profile right here. Set this over here. And it's really, wow, it's having quite a busy day sending the dimensions all over the place. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that to 60 millimeters there. So now we have these two profiles here. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. I still need to dimension how long this is. So that's 112 millimeters. So let's go ahead and do 112 millimeters. And now we have these two profiles. Now we just need to set them up relative to each other. So it's 80 millimeters in from this center of that arc to that center of that arc. So I'll add a dimension there horizontally. 80 millimeters like that. And now we can go ahead and just center this over here. It's generally good to keep things centered if you can. And I'll drag this down to be right on that line there. So we have this profile now. And rather than extruding, we're going to go ahead and use a sweep. So the sweep tool is going to be right here. And we can select this as our profile. And this is our sweep path. Now we have the main block of material that we're making right here. And let's go ahead and just make a shell here. So with the shell, we can take out this top face over here and these faces over at the sides. And um, we can use the shell here because there's a 25 millimeter uniform wall thickness. So 25 millimeters like that. And now we have our part. So we removed all those faces there. Last thing to do is to assign the material. I'm going to use the two tall topi material library you have and set it to 1060 aluminum alloy. And when we measure the mass, we have 8,002 grams. So that's a quick tutorial for how to make this part in 3D with just two features and two sketches from this drawing right here. Now, what about full Ivan exploits? That means getting the geometry wrong, but getting the mass right. So let's start a timer and find out. So I'm going to start a sketch on the right plane, sorry, the front plane over here, and I'll draw it out to be 80 millimeters from the top plane, like that, and at an angle of 70 millimeters. Sorry, 70, 70 degrees, what am I saying? Now, when we do the top plane sketch, there's some really messy things we can do. We can draw one of the lines, another one of the lines, now we can add one of the slot profiles over here and add the other one right here, right afterwards. And I'll edit this one to be 200. And now we just need to set the lengths. So this one's going to be 400 over here. Oops. And this one's going to be 112 over here. Now I'm not doing any positioning here. I'm just going to launch right into the sweep. So grab that face over here, sweep along there. I'm going to shell this out and shell out these faces. 25 millimeters and now when I open up this super fast table of different mass properties that was already like 52 seconds there I'm not sure what the time was exactly but we've already got our mass right there and the geometry is totally wrong but who cares we've won the modeling challenge then